Studios. Joining us now, Thomas Gregory, State Coordinator for the Mississippi Main Street Association. Thomas, thanks for coming on Middays. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. All right, tell us about Mississippi Main Street, uh, exactly the association. What do you guys do? What's your mission? Yeah, we're a statewide 501c3 nonprofit, and we provide support and training for our more than 48 Um, designated Main Street communities all across the state. Our mission is to serve as a catalyst for the preservation and economic revitalization of Mississippi's historic downtowns and traditional commercial districts. So we're we're busy. Yeah, because I I was thinking about uh, just what would be uh, the the cities, the towns that would be categorized thusly, a bunch of them in Mississippi. Yeah, we've got 48, like I said, designated Main Street programs, which is our highest level of uh, membership. Those are communities that are invested in a downtown revitalization effort. They have a local executive director and a board of directors that supports the work locally. Um, Typically, the municipality is a strong partner with our local programs. Um, So we've got We've got programs from DeSoto County all the way down to the Gulf Coast and the Delta, the Hills, the Capital Area. Um, all, all parts of the state uh, have, have Main Street programs. So when you talk programs, what do you mean specifically? Yeah, typically Main Street programs are their own organizations, typically a nonprofit of some sort, 501c3 or 501c6. Um, they, they have their own local board of directors, like I mentioned, that are um, going about the mission of the local revitalization effort. Um, so it's a, it's a program of work that is in the community with a specific mission of downtown revitalization. Okay. Well, I've uh, been fortunate to host some remote uh, broadcasts for the show in in many of the communities that I think are members. Mm -hmm. And I have noticed that there is uh, clearly visibly uh, revitalization occurring in some of these downtown efforts, uh, uh, areas that were historically vibrant areas in their day, uh, the downtowns. And uh, I guess I've just kind of deteriorated a bit through time, mainly just as a result of time. And now there seems to be a concerted effort to kind of restore those to where they were and maybe even make them better. That's right. And and the decline of downtowns was not just a Mississippi thing. It was yeah. a national trend that happened um, really in the 60s and 70s and on into the 80s. And um, ha- that's how Main Street got its its founding in, in the early 1980s. There was a group with the National Trust for Historic Preservation that wanted to see if they could apply the same sort of preservation ethic to a downtown revitalization uh, effort. And they, they adopted a couple of cities in the the Midwest and found that the model that they used was very successful at bringing those downtowns back to their former uh, glory, if you will. Uh, And so that model became what is now now known as Main Street. And and Mississippi's program was founded in 1984. We'll be celebrating our 40th anniversary next year. Um, And over the past four decades, we have continued to expand uh, from just a handful of of local programs to the, you know, four dozen that we, we have today. What are the benefits? Um, I think the benefit of, of being a Main Street is, um, you know, having access to the resources that we and our national organization provide. Uh, I think it's important to remember that revitalization doesn't just happen on its own, that it takes a concerted effort and a very, um, um, you, you know, it takes a framework for for that, and so we we follow sure. a model known as the Main Street approach that focuses on four different areas that work together. And so it's it's the thought that goes into doing the work that it takes uh, day in and day out to achieve sustained revitalization over a long period of time. Yeah, uh, and this is important in in, uh, in especially in a state like Mississippi, where the population is uh, fairly dispersed. Mm-hmm. We, we are a more of a rural state, but it's, ru- it's rural areas that are served by these downtown communities that, uh, frankly, are, are, are serving a large population that is, is fairly spread out. I mean, that's just the nature of our state. That's right. And I think Mississippi is a really good case study for how the Main Street approach scales. We have Main Street communities uh, in really small places like Woodville and Tunica. Uh, And then we have Main Street programs in some of our larger cities like Tupelo and Hattiesburg and Biloxi and Gulfport. Um, And so the Main Street model really, really does scale to fit any size community. And I think Mississippi's uh, status as a rural state or a state comprised of rural communities makes Main Street a really effective model at community transformation um, just because of the way that that our, our, our framework works. Do you work with the legislatures, anything at the state level from a policy or, or um, 
law perspective. Yeah, so we we are in close partnership with the state of Mississippi. We've been um, uh, partners with the Mississippi Development Authority and the Department of Archives and History since our founding. They were two agencies that came together to help establish Mississippi's Main Street program. Uh, over the past two years, we've gotten more involved in, in legislative advocacy and uh, have seen some success as a result of that. Uh, last year, uh, our organization, or, or rather our communities, I should say, um, received $5 million worth of ARPA funding hmm. to go towards downtown revitalization projects. All that funding goes straight to our 48 designated communities based on population. Uh, and this past legislative session, the one that just ended, we saw sort of an addendum to that. They they allocated an additional $3 million in ARPA funding uh, to sort of tack on to the $5 million that our, our programs received last year. So uh, we are working with all of our communities to identify the projects that are going to have the biggest impact in the communities and, and implement those ac according to the, the guidelines that uh, the Department of Treasury sets out for all of the ARPA funding uh, that is dispersed. So we're really excited about uh, those opportunities, and, and, and we know that the types of projects that Main Street does and will do with these funds will we'll be good stewards of that uh, of that money. And um, I think it's going to be something that people around the state are going to start to see uh, and understand the value that, that Main Street can bring when, um, you know, there's a little bit of an investment in our downtowns. Are most of these projects, are, the, are they more common infrastructure in nature, or are are they um, remodeling, renovating building structures that have existed in the uh, downtown areas for a long time, the main streets, if you will? Or a combination of the two? Yes and yes. So um, you're going to see some of those funds being used to improve streetscapes and public spaces in a downtown. Um, I know some of our communities are interested in doing uh, facade uh, improvement programs where they're uh, fixing up the exterior facing walls of, mm -hmm. of buildings, uh, historic buildings in the downtown. Um, some of our communities are interested in uh, creating wayfinding signage systems to help visitors uh, navigate the community and know where the top destinations are. Um, all of those, one of the good things about the funding is that there is some flexibility for the local programs to decide how best to use the funds. We always uh, believe that you know the local community knows its needs best, uh, so we're we're here to provide guidance and direction, um, but understanding that those local boards um, know their community best and they know the projects that are going to have the biggest impact, and so uh, we're looking forward to seeing the fruits of of that work um, start to happen here in the pretty near future. So you talked to us about uh, some public funding, specifically you said you receive uh, some uh, via the ARPA. Uh, program. What about private funding? You receive some, is that as well? We do. So our funding, you know, in part comes from um, state, the state, um, you know, budget. Mm -hmm. um, we also um, partner really heavily with the corporate sector in Mississippi. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, we receive a lot of private sector support. Um, I see. And, um, you know, we are a 501c3, so contributions to our organization are tax deductible. And I, I think one of the things that some of the larger corporations in the state, you look at Entergy Mississippi and Mississippi Power um, and some of the larger financial institutions that have invested with Mississippi Main Street, they see a return on that investment because we are doing the work in our communities that helps prime the local economies for success. And so if you're uh, a bank, for example, that's looking – you know, for small business owners, people to make loans to. The work that Main Street does helps create, um, you know, an economic environment that is ripe for job creation, ripe for business growth and expansion, that catalyzes public and private investment in a community that ends up being good business for the financial institution. Yeah. So do you, do you also work with the, uh, the cities, the municipalities on marketing and promoting their cities for uh, prospective residents, uh, new businesses, economic development projects. Absolutely. So our local programs are doing a lot of that, you know, for their own communities. But we as a state organization do a lot of uh, a promotion of our, our main streets, you know, as a whole um, to, to market the sort of collective opportunities that exist um, in the state. In fact, we, um, we, we have a spot on Rebecca Turner's um, yeah. afternoon show. She talks a lot about the festivals and events that our, our programs uh, put on in the spring and the fall. Um, so, you know, s statewide promotion is a big part of what our association brings to those communities that are our are, are members. Um, and we want to let people know that there's always something going on, you know, on Mississippi's main streets. Yeah. Well, you guys have done a good job because I know you've been involved in a lot of the projects that we have seen across, uh, in particular, the smaller and mid-sized towns across the state of Mississippi, the, the downtowns. 
everywhere I go look fantastic, honestly. Well, thank you. We appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Thomas Gregory, state coordinator of Mississippi Main Street Association, has been our guest. Appreciate you coming on, Thomas. Thank you. Keep up the good work. We're coming right back with more on Midday. Stay with